So, Carl Benjamin, also known as Sargon of Akkad, is running for parliament now. And UKIP, the party which he is running on, hosted a press conference. And they were trying to discuss the issues of Brexit and how that was going to be a major part of their party's platform. Of course, the uh, media wanted to discuss some other topics as well, and some rather interesting questions proceeded. Uh, Victoria MacDonald from Channel 4 News. Uh, last night, live on stage, uh, you were when asked about um, Gerald's uh, handling of the rape tweet. You said... Uh, on sorry, the, sorry, what, what tweet? The, the rape the tweet, uh, the question about rape of the Labour Party. There was no question about rape, that's a lie, and I'm not going to accept that framing. No, I'm not accepting okay, that framing. Tell me I said I, I wouldn't either. That's not a threat. It's not, a, it's not a promise of action, it's actually just a okay, thing. And I'm not going to be apologising for my crimes against political correctness. I hate political correctness. The I'm not answering your question. The second one. Okay, so if you heard that, it was Victoria McDonald from Channel 4 News, and she was asking about Carl Benjamin's tweet from three years ago where he said to Jesse Phillips, a member of parliament, quote, I wouldn't even rape you. And what he means is he's saying, if I was a rapist, I wouldn't even rape, I wouldn't even rape you or whatever, however, wherever you want to put the emphasis. So that was in response to Jesse Phillips when she was saying that on Men's Day, we don't need to be discussing uh, men's issues in Parliament. You can see the ex excerpt of her saying that on a board. Uh, I can I'm gonna put that in the description. But she was saying there's so many men in Parliament. We can discuss men's issues any day, whatever. So uh, I guess maybe some other issues of rape or something came up. But the point is, it was meant to be an insult. It I, it was an insult. Um, he's he's saying. If I was a rapist or, you know, hypothetically any, if any given rapist wouldn't want to even rape you because you're just such a horrible person that even a rapist wouldn't want you. It's, it's an insult. It's, you know, it's vulgar. It's discuss. you know, it's not um, good etiquette, but it's an insult. It's, it's a stretch to say it's a threat. Although I know sometimes people make underhanded threats anyway. So, yeah, so they they don't like him they're trying to bring that up they keep bringing up stuff like questions about that they're trying to talk about uh brexit and whatnot but it, he's a difficult uh it's, it's difficult you know i mean these those are kind of things that are not um sort of cordial interactions uh i don't think this jesse phillips member of parliament is a good person she's she's certainly not uh, and, uh, whatever. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, I'll bring you more information on, uh, Sargon of Akkad and other comments. What do I think about it? Um, it's an insult. He wasn't dis diminishing rape, but he was using, he was making a joke, joke on the con on the, um, topic of rape, which is a little bit different. Um, but you know, I'm sure there's even comedians out there who would make who would make jokes diminishing rape in order to make it and ironic. In other words, they're not actually diminishing rape. What they're really saying is rape is bad, but the joke is they're speaking about it in a way that diminishes it because that's the joke. You're supposed to say, Hey, rape's not rape's not insignificant. That's the whole point of a joke. It's you often say the opposite. So I think anyone without a pea-sized brain can get that, and I think this reporter does not have a pea-sized brain. Uh, I think it's more politically motivated, although there's always, you know, the chance of underhanded threats. But anyway, that's all. Please like, please subscribe, hit the bell. Bye.